Hey gang, Ray Glasser here once again. Uh, today is May the 11th, 2009, and we're going to do the first unboxing video in many years. I think maybe even since the 1990s. What I have here is a Sony DVD player, and what makes this one so unique is, number one, it supposedly upconverts everything to 1080p, meaning it can make your uh, regular DVDs look almost high definition. And number two, it memorizes up to six discs with the resume feature, meaning you can take six different discs, play them, and it'll remember where you left off if you didn't finish the whole thing. So let's do the unboxing right now in high definition here on May the 11th, 2009. And this is nice. Okay, let's see what we got here. A lot of that uh, bubble stuff. Oh, that's it. Here we go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> nice Sony DVPN. S710H. Is that it? Yeah, S710H. Very nice, very nice. So let's get rid of the outer box. I'm glad they double boxed this. This is always very nice. Let's see, where are we here? And move the camera a little bit. Okay, here we go. And let's see what we have here. This guy's a very, very dull knife. This knife I've had since I was about 16 years old, and I'm not kidding, if not younger. So, it's kind of dull. And here we are. There's the remote control. And here is, boy, is this tiny. Oh my God, is this thing thin. Look at this. This is really, really tiny. This is my sixth DVD player over the years. And there we are. Look how pristine that looks. Wow. Very nice. Of course, almost no buttons on here. Maybe just a couple indicators and that's it. Yeah, they call it an upscaling DVD player. It used to be called upconverting. Now it's called upscaling. Very nice. Very nice. Has a Bravia sync. Well, I have a Samsung, not a Bravia, so... But here it is, gang. <laughs> now, there's my thumb. <laughs> you can see how, how narrow this thing really is. Wow. What else came with it now? We have the uh, usual warranty and the owner's manual. And, of course, some uh, audio video cables. And that's it. The nice thing is about this unit, it has an HDMI connector, which is actually what I'm using right now to monitor this recording on my uh, Samsung High Definition TV set. So, uh, should be interesting to see how good this thing looks when I have it going. So, next step is to get this in the video rack and uh, show you the back. Boys, that look good. Component, coaxial, video, HDMI out, digital out, no S-video. Now, that's interesting. I thought this had an S-video output. I guess it doesn't. Okay. All right, gang. Let's put this in the video rack and see how it works, okay? Stand by. Okay, gang. Here's my video rack. And here is the Sony DVD player in its place of honor. It's replacing a 2001 Pioneer, by the way, which is uh, now for sale on eBay. Here's a display, and there are actually three buttons up here, right up here. This is uh, a button for open-close. Where are we? Open-close. This one here is play. This one here is pause. That's it. we got three buttons on this machine. You can almost see these... Uh, Things up here. A lot of light reflecting off this thing. Um, now, as far as what it looks like on my TV, ah, here we go. Let me do a little zoom in. There are a lot of things you can do with this thing. Of course, only from the remote. Because, honey, when I put the display on, 
you got all this stuff up here and you can just using the cursor cycle up and down and it tells you down here what these different things are which is kind of nice okay it's very just very typical of the way things are today it's all done by the remote let's do setup this setup has a lot of different things to it especially when you hit custom let me zoom out a little bit that's not too bad there we go this should be coming out okay I'll just let you guys read this it's all pretty self-explanatory and you go back over to here cycle down to the next one move the cursor over to the right and you get all this a lot of stuff in this little thing I did not pay a lot of money for this either So as you see, there's an awful lot of stuff to this very cheap yet functional and versatile DVD player. Here's a remote control. Again, very straightforward, no surprises. As far as picture quality, how does it look? Well, it looks quite good. Now this is Star Trek First Contact on the standard definition DVD. Captain, I believe I speak for everyone here, sir, when I say to hell with our orders. Here's something else we have, different uh, picture modes. Dynamic is what I like. It uh, has a lot of contrast, a lot of brightness, a lot of color. Cinema 1 and 2 seem to have very little brightness or contrast and a little bit washed out. So I actually keep this on, uh, I'm going to put it on Dynamic 1 to see how much better it looks. In case the Romulans decide to take advantage of the situation. The Romulans? Captain, there has been no unusual activity along the Romulan border for the last nine months. It seems highly unlikely they would choose this moment to start a conflict. Does Starfleet feel we need more shakedown time? Captain, we've been out in space nearly a year now. Another starship coming in! It's the Enterprise! The Defiance losing life support. Bridge to transporter room 3, beam the Defiant survivors aboard. Captain, the Admiral's ship has been destroyed. Well, that's a quick look-see at the, my new Sony DVD player here on May the 11th, 2009. Ray Glasser signing off from Cleveland, Ohio.